Hello and welcome back to Elijah Miles The Journey. So I'm in front of what seems to be an impossibly high hill to climb, but where there's a will, there's a way. And if you can dream it, you can do it. Last week we talked about, a lot about self-love and how a lot of us are wounded and hurt and offended and we're living in that. Uh, yet I wanted to make sure that we all knew that I know that you know that it is our responsibility to heal, our responsibility to take action. And so often we sit and we live in the shadow of a hill or a mountain. And when we look up, it looks impossible, impossibly high. Like there isn't a way in this darkness that we're living in, that there isn't a way out and we don't see light. What the universe answers to is action and this has been kind of passed around and I forget his name at the moment but he has a great uh, short video and he talks a little bit about holding a bottle of water and how long can you hold this bottle of water before it becomes so heavy that you can no longer hold on to it it's a picture of the hurt and the pain it's a picture of what we're holding on to and what we need to let go of, what we need to forgive others and forgive ourselves for. And that is so that we can reach the heights, so that we can find our path, our path to gratitude, our path to happiness, our path to light and our path to where we want our lives to be and where we want our lives to go. So we need to get smart and we need to get to the core of our problems, of our pain, of our hurt, of our indecision. I know we see the path and sometimes the path seems so high and so steep and so hard to traverse. One of the first steps to healing and to finding our path in our journey is to heal. You know, we talked about all the pains and the hurts and the offenses that we carry and we carry until it becomes so dark and so heavy that we sit stagnant going nowhere so in making these videos I just want to encourage and inspire us to get up because the universe responds to action step by step little by little day by day you know, when we look up at the hill or the mountain, it seems literally impossible to climb. But when, when we focus on step by step and day by day, that starts with our taking off the cap to that pain and that hurt and starting to do something very beautiful, and that is to forgive to let go, to turn around and stop focusing on what was behind and to look forward to what is to come. <laughs> let what was become the fuel to what will be. You got this. I'm telling you, you can do this and you've got this. Again, I wanna tell you, you've got this. You can do it. I mean, keep going. Keep forgiving. Keep letting go. You've got this. You've got this. You can do it. You've got this. You can do it. And what seemed so impossible becomes the possible. And then you look back and you look down and you say, wow, that journey made me who I am today. So I just want to encourage you. Again, the universe responds to action. 
and stop holding on to the pain, to the indecision, the self-doubt, the negativity, the offense, the things that get heavier and heavier and heavier and weigh you down and make you think and make you feel like your journey is impossible. It's time to say I'm here, to let them go, to heal, to say I forgive you, I forgive me. Let it go. Let these become the fuel to drive your journey to where you know you deserve to be, where you should be, and if you move, where you will be. Thank you again for tuning in to Elijah Miles' The Journey. I'm here! And don't forget to make, make, make it a good one. Mm -hmm.